We have a lot of junk orbiting Earth and it's dangerous. And so people have been looking at different ways to latch on to items in space and possibly retrieve them, maybe even reuse some of them. So what we've developed is a gripper that uses gecko-inspired adhesives. It's a microstructured adhesive. It's much simpler than what the gecko has, but it works the same way. Most of the time it's not sticky. It has tiny little microscopic flaps, and it only sticks when you apply a load to it in the direction along the surface. So as you apply load, each of these flaps lays down like this, and you get very close contact. And it's, it's this close contact that turns on the adhesive. When you release that pulling force, it comes back up with elastic energy and then comes off with almost no force. We aimed at grasping a variety of objects from these uh, solar panels that have big flat surfaces some of these rocket bodies, they have really curved, like cylindrical surfaces. That's why we have two modules. The type of adhesive we use is space qualified. It still remains sticky, even in the very challenging environment of space. Traditional methods of grasping, like suction cups, don't work because there's no atmosphere. And anything sticky, and they're called pressure sensitive adhesives, in the cold, it basically becomes brittle and no longer sticks. We've tested it on free-floating platforms, both at Stanford and at Jet Propulsion Labs, where our collaborators are. With their help, we've tested it on the zero-gravity parabolic flight airplane. And then finally, Aaron Parnessis' group at Jet Propulsion Labs made a version of the grippers that we have that went up to the International Space Station. We also imagine that it could be used for small robots that climb around structures in space in order to do maintenance or inspection. What we design is a proof of concept prototype and then what needs to eventually happen is a, make a sturdy gripper that will go on the end of a robot arm in space. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.